Hello and welcome back to Global Value. In today's video, we are going to be performing a fundamental stock analysis of Fortescue Metals Group Limited, ticker symbol FSUGY. The reason their ticker symbol looks a little different is because the company is trading on an ADR, which is an American depository receipt in the United States. Fortescue is an Australian mining company that recently hit its 52-week low. They're currently paying out a dividend yield of 19.5%, and they only have a P.E. ratio of 5. The company is both in fertile hunting grounds and it looks potentially cheap on a number of metrics. So that's what we're going to dig into and learn more about in our fundamental analysis today. Currently, Fortescue is trading for $21.44 per share. Over the past year, they're down 3.5%. Over three years, they're actually up at a rate of 23% compounded annually. Over five years, they're up at a rate of 22% compounded annually. And going back 10.5 years just to when the company was publicly listed, their stock price has compounded at a rate of about 6.5%. Keep in mind that these returns are also not including the company's dividends. And as mentioned, they're paying out nearly a 20% dividend yield currently. Fortescue is trading just over their 52-week low, and they're down about $12 from their 52-week high. As mentioned, they're an Australian business, and currently their market cap is $51.5 billion Australian dollars. That converts to a market cap of about $33 billion US dollars. For some background about the business, Fortescue is an Australian-based iron ore miner. It has grown from obscurity at the start of 2008 to become the world's fourth largest producer. Growth was fueled by debt, which has now been repaid. Expansion from 55 million tons in fiscal 2012 to about 185 million tons in 2022 means Fortescue supplies nearly 10% of global seaborne iron ore. Further expansion above 20 million tons is likely once it completes construction of its 22 million ton Iron Bridge Magnetite mine. However, with longer term demand potentially likely to decline as China's economy matures, it's expected that Fortescue's future margins will be below historical averages. More recently, Fortescue has diversified into green energy with ambitions to become a major supplier of green hydrogen and green ammonium. Its efforts here are still at a very early stage. Further, Fortescue also provides port towage services. Fortescue Metals Group Limited was incorporated in 1983 and is headquartered in East Perth, Australia. So for our fundamental analysis today, we are going to be performing the Select 6 analysis, taking a checklist style approach of six standard financial metrics to come to a holistic and beginning understanding of Fortescue based off of their business fundamentals. This analysis will continue to improve and get better over time. It's still evolving and it serves as an opportunity to learn in public. So with that said, let's get right into our analysis. Starting off with metric number one, we want their average return on capital over the last five years to be above 14%. So over the long run, over the course of decades, a stock is going to return approximately what its underlying business returns, and these business returns are going to be captured here by return on capital. In addition to this, the average publicly listed business only earns about a 7% return on capital. So by asking for companies that are twice as good as that metric, we can build in some margin of safety for ourselves based on the overall quality of the business. So Fortescue Metals Group was able to produce returns on capital above the metric we're looking for in four out of these five years. Their returns on capital peaked in 2021 at nearly 64%, and they've come back down since then in 2022. Over their last 12 months, they've earned about a 36% return on capital, and in their last five years, their average return on capital is about 31%. So that is more than double the metric we're looking for, and that's more than four times better than average. This is a massive check to start off here on metric number one. Keep in mind that they operate in a highly cyclical industry, being a commodities miner, and that these returns on capital and the business's cash flows that we'll see later are going to heavily depend on commodity pricing. Metric number two, here we're looking at a high-level overview of the cash coming into the business. We want their revenues, net incomes, and free cash flows to have grown in the last five years. This metric is all or nothing in nature. Either all three of these are going to be up for a check, or if even one of them is down, this entire metric is going to be an X. Their revenues have nearly tripled in this time frame. Their net incomes are up more than 6X, and their free cash flows are up nearly five times. This has been massive growth for Fortescue in the last five years alone. Another big check here on metric number two. Metric number three, here we're building off of the previous metric, but we're taking the perspective of an individual shareholder in the business and looking at this on a per share basis. Specifically here, we're looking for earnings per share growth over the last five years. 
So Fortescue has both significantly increased their earnings and they've also bought back shares over this time frame. Their earnings per share are actually increasing faster than their earnings or their buybacks individually. This is a great sign to see here and this is another check on metric number three. Metric number four is pretty similar. Here we're looking for free cash flow per share growth over the last five years. They've more than 5 x their free cash flows per share from 22 cents in fiscal 2018 up to a dollar and 25 cents per share in fiscal 2022. So we are perfect so far to start off. We've got four checks on four metrics. One thing to note is that it's easy for businesses to grow these per share metrics when they're not concerned about producing above average returns on capital. Per share metrics are by no means the end all be all for a business, even though it does help you get a perspective of an individual shareholder. It's a great sign to see here that they're coupling their high returns on capital with strong per share metric growth as well. Next up for metric number five, here we want their net debt, which is long and short term liabilities minus cash and short term investments to be below the amount of free cash flow that they produced in the last five years. So currently Fortescue only has about $900 million of net debt. And over this time frame, they produce $21.5 billion of free cash flow. So despite the leverage that the company had to take out early on in its history to fuel its growth, the business is strongly cash flow generative now relative to their use of leverage in the company. The business compared to its free cash flows does not look overly levered at all. This is important because in economic downturns, it's overly levered businesses that are going to tend to do the worst. So this is a strong balance sheet position here for Fortescue. Another check on metric number five, and we're still perfect. Finally, the big metric of them all, metric number six, we want their average free cash flow to enterprise value yield to be above 5% to give us a risk premium to the risk-free rate. Total enterprise value is going to give us a picture that's closer to economic reality than market cap alone will, as it also takes into account the company's net debt position. Even though the business is trading near its 52-week low, They've actually increased the amount of debt that they've had over this time. Back last year in October and November, it looks like they actually added on debt. Even though the business is nearing its 52-week low for their market cap, they're not nearing their 52-week low for their total enterprise value. In any case, over the last five years, they produced $21.5 billion of free cash flow, which means that in an average year, they're producing about $4.3 billion of free cash flow. When we divide their $4.3 billion of free cash flow, by their $34.5 billion total enterprise value. That is gonna give us an average five-year free cash flow to total enterprise value yield of about 12.5%. That is about two and a half times better than that 5% metric we're looking for. So this is another check here on metric number six, and we are a perfect six for six on our select six analysis. This is important because it means that the business's historical averages potentially offer a strong risk premium to the 10-year treasury right now. Keep in mind, however, that just because they check the box here on metric number six and just because they are a perfect six for six does not mean that you're going to run out and go buy this business. This analysis serves as a beginning holistic understanding to help you determine whether it's worth your time to dig in and learn more and do your own homework about the business. It is not financial advice and it is not a buy or sell recommendation of any security. Before considering any investment, please consult with the properly licensed and registered financial and legal professionals. Then finally, here we're looking at their dividend profile. Fortescue is currently paying out about a 19.5% dividend yield. However, people make mistakes all the time by blindly chasing dividend yields. So it's important to stop and look under the hood of a business to determine if their dividends are well supported by their abilities to produce free cash flows. In the case of Fortescue, in good years, they're paying out a very high percentage of their cash flows as dividends and returning these along with their share buybacks to shareholders. It would seem that almost all of the business's cash flows are being returned to shareholders here. So one thing we're not necessarily keen on is that in the past year, they've actually paid out more dividends per share than they brought in in free cash flows. So in a business where you're mining commodities, this industry is gonna be highly cyclical. And so instead of having set amounts of dividends that they're paying out, it would likely be a better capital allocation approach to peg their dividends to their free cash flows and pay out a set percentage each year. However, that does not look to be the case here. So if their cash flows continue to drop, be on the lookout to see that they would also decrease their dividend payments as well as long-term paying out higher amounts of dividends than what you're bringing in in free cash flows is simply not sustainable for a business. So in summary, Fortescue Metals Group 
is a perfect six for six on our select six analysis. This has been the fourth commodity mining company we've looked at and they've all been six for six. This looks like based off of their past five years of performance, this industry potentially looks optically cheap for a number of these leading companies. However, mining is a highly cyclical business. It's got these booms and busts and we've seen the price of commodities go up quite a bit in recent years. Whether or not that's gonna continue, I'm no expert on. That's absolutely a factor that you're going to want to take into account for any investment in this space. It may potentially be the case that these industry leaders are cheap compared to other sectors. That's not the type of investment strategy I use, so I won't comment there. Another possibility is that the last five years were pretty good for these businesses and that the future potentially doesn't look like it's likely to be as favorable for these companies. In any case, Fortescue is a perfect six for six. In the past five years, they've significantly grown their revenues, earnings, and free cash flows. They've been buying back some shares. They're earning extremely high returns on capital. They're also employing very small amounts of leverage in their business relative to their free cash flows. And based on how they're producing free cash flows compared to their total enterprise value, the company looks like it has a potentially attractive average free cash flow to enterprise value yield right now, which could potentially give a risk premium to the risk-free rate. If they were able to keep producing these kinds of business returns now and into the future. Finally, we looked at the company's dividend and they're currently paying out about a 20% dividend yield. It would seem that the business is paying out a very high percentage of their cash flows and returning those to shareholders through both dividends and buybacks. It doesn't look like management has pegged their dividend payouts as a percentage of the business's free cash flows. So in the most recent fiscal year for Fortescue, they were actually paying out more dividends than they were bringing in in cash flows. So that is a potential warning sign here for this business. To reiterate, this analysis is not financial advice. It is not a buy or sell recommendation of any security. Before making any investment decision, please consult with the properly licensed and registered financial and legal professionals. This analysis instead serves as a beginning holistic understanding to help you determine whether it's worth your time to dig in and learn more about the company here by doing more homework. You can do that by reading through the business's transcripts. Ticker provides these pretty conveniently so that you can read through their earnings calls and get a better understanding of their operating results as a whole. As a value investor, you want to understand the essence of a business as if you owned 100% of it, and you truly know all of its ins and its outs. For any company, that's just going to require a farther level of learning. That's just doing deeper homework on a business. And that's got to be something that's done independently by yourself before making an investment. So with that said, that's it for today's fundamental stock analysis of Fortescue Meadows Group Limited, ticker symbol FSUGY. If you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel for more stock analysis videos, and comment down below what business you want me to take a look at next time. Fortescue was a subscriber request, so I'm happy to make an analysis of it. So thanks for learning about Fortescue today with me, and have a great day.